um, when you think about it practically, everything starts with interpreting sensations from the world, what we see, what we hear, what we feel. Um, and from there, that impacts us. So if you start from the brain instead of starting from the behavior, it's just a game changer um, that you start solving problems and helping people, adults and kids, process sensory information better as opposed to just reacting to their adaptive response or maladaptive response, if you will, to that processing. So I hope that makes sense. That, it does to me, and we're going to even break it down further because okay, I want good. to talk about this movement thing because yes. since that was definitely, for the very first time that we met, I met you maybe like a year and a half ago okay. at a conference. And it was just, I mean, for me, I think it was, I went into your workshop and it was called Kids, it had the Kids Can Move, Kids Do kids, Well. Uh, it was off move. of Russ Green's Kids Do Well If They Can. It was Kids Do Well If They Can Move. They can move. And I was in that workshop and you got everybody so fired up and so <laughs> excited. Again, because you're just so passionate about helping us understand this <coughs> thing. And how, why does moving our bodies help integrate our senses? Is that what it does? Right. Yes. Yes. So your vestibular sense, which is what we're talking about, is it's in the lower part of the brain and it's kind of like the foundation of the house. So, and we always talk about the research. It's, we know now through brain scans that the vestibular system touches every part of the brain. Um, so it is so important. Uh, it touches the speech centers of the brain, which is why when you go on a roller coaster, you scream. Um, and uh, it's, it's just amazing. Or you put kids on a screen and yay, you get vocalizations from it. I use that all of the time in, in treatment, especially with nonverbal kids who, you know, are on the autistic spectrum. We use this powerful foundational sense. Um, so yes, it is very, it is a, a low brain um, sensation. Um, and it is, again, the foundation of the house from which so much of the brain builds from that vestibular sense. And again, in the beginning, when sensory integration first came out, it was, uh, it started in the 60s. It really got legs in the, the 1980s. A. Jean Ayers, who is an occupational therapist, who really was the founder and the creator of this philosophy, which we've now proven through brain scans. She was right. She was ahead of her time. So yeah, so it's real and it is the foundation of everything. And that's why we use movement. So during my workshops, I will have everybody get up and move and then they'll sit back down and they'll be more focused because it helps you focus and pay attention and it allows us to get regulated so that we can meet expectations.